A big envy became home to one of the brightest minds of the 23rd century. The courier watched over the big empty for years to come, caring for it and keeping its discovery safe until they were needed to help others. Which had always been Big Mountain's purpose. Past the laboratories and science, it had always been intended as a place to build the future of all mankind. The courier had scoured much of the Big Empty, although secrets still remained in the crater's depths. Perhaps that was for the best, however. Curiosity, while sometimes rewarded for its efforts, often proves to be equally dangerous. Dr. Mobius continued his research undisturbed in the Forbidden Zone. As much as he had attempted to create better scorpions, he tried the same with humanity, with considerably less success. These failures didn't bother him over much. Once the rush of Mentats wore off, he forgot he had failed in any event. After all, the bright young mind who had come to visit him in the Forbidden Zone had already exceeded his expectations. The sink atop the dome bustled with the voices of a small town, constantly chirping, arguing, and snarling at each other. Still, this all happened productively in the interests of its new owner. The sick Central Intelligence Unit discovered, despite its inversion count, it was comforted by the sense of community the other personalities gave it. The biological research station, obsessed with seeding everything in sight, requested a transfer to the X-22 Botanical Garden, so that it might, in its own words, sensually fertilize the garden's smooth contours. The garden sent back a polite refusal, saying it had prior commitments with a vault it had helped infect before the war. The book ship continued to devour all seditious materials until it nearly chunked on a paper clip. It adamantly maintained it was a Chinese paper clip, and the whole thing had been an elaborately orchestrated assassination attempt. Whatever the reason, it slowed down for a while, carefully appraising each document and clipboard that came to it. The light switches continued to flicker and flicker. This persisted until the day someone dropped a flashlight in the sink, and the two of them united in their hatred of the showboat. One of them eventually transferred to the Lightwave Dynamics plant and began a long, unrequited affair with one of the holograms. Hmm. The sink continued to ruthlessly scrub any particulate matter that came near it. Eventually, it gained access to the magneto hydraulics plant and nearly flooded all the big empty in an attempt to scrub the crater clean. Once it learned of the innovative toxins plant, however, it gained new purpose. It sought to develop antitoxins to flush into its drains and counteract the poisons bleeding into the soil. The toaster continued its psychotic spree. It's on fire. Appliances in range to scrap electronics and spare parts. After one of its more psychotic episodes, however, the other sync personalities decided enough was enough and dumped the toaster in a bathtub. Sparking and hissing, the toaster swore its enemies would rue the day when they had bread and no way to toast it. Monkey.
can't sewing up the courier in all the right places when the skin split open from repeated wear and tear. The autodoc was just glad to have purpose again. It heard its simpler brothers and sisters who got shipped to the Sierra Madre, bored out of their skulls in that toxic dead city. In time, the autodoc found a way to deactivate the Y-17 trauma harnesses, releasing the corpses they had held prisoner for almost 200 years. As the courier ran through the X-8 facility multiple times, the computers analyzed the test subject's movements. Rather than performing a superficial observation, they realized the subject barely knew what communism was, or even what a high school was. Pain. That's what high school is. Until the facility finally realized that its research had succeeded. So it led its cyber dogs out into the wastes to help protect small communities from physical aggression rather than communist propaganda. The infiltration program in X-13 continued to scan for the subject and the stealth suit prototype long after the test was over. Frustrated and unable to find its lost technology, X-13 expanded its network of laser tripwires, sensors, and robo-brains out across Big Mountain. This glittering blue light beam forest completely bisected anything that entered its depths, slicing them into small segmented parts for easy disposal. <coughs> to return, shoes covered in Mojave dust. Only one road yet remained, and it was one courier had to walk alone. Well, not alone precisely, but I still got my buddies with me, right? Now I'm brain full. Greetings, 
seriously? So many options. Yeah, sure. To, oh, who is boss now? Even though we didn't, oddly enough. Give me all your ammo. I'm out of here. I just want to go back to uh, Mojave Wasteland now. You know what I mean, right? Okay, now I can... Oh, I have to check this out. 